And just like that, we're back. Maybe it took the long weekend. I don't know what it took. Whatever you did out there, we did it. We open up a short week. Maybe it's just because we all thought it was Monday, even though it was Tuesday. Whatever it is, we hit last night, and we start the week, the official work week, because I was off on Monday, with a bang and hit the parlay of the day yesterday. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to hit a parlay of the day today. We're going to go right back to it. That's what we do six days a week. We've already knocked down a plus 500 parlay of the day for the week in five days. So at the very least, we've made a small, small margin of profit. But we're not done. I mean, come on, what am I going to do? Go home, say, hey, boss, you know, come on. I hit Tuesday. What do you want from me? See ya. It doesn't work like that. Let's head on over to the Odd Chopper Premium Tool. I'm going to tell you about this right now. You're going to get a free week. I build the parlay of the day every single day via the Odd Chopper Premium Tool. I am betting every single day via the Odd Chopper Premium Tool. This is all I ask of you. Give it a shot. Check it out. Let's see what's going on. All right? It's that simple. Now, let's head on over. Your first play is going to be Clark Schmidt. And we're going to go under K's here. All right? First off, I love the fact, and we're going to have to sneak one in. I love the fact that we were able to work in a total in yesterday's parlay of the day. Schmitter is on the road tonight in Seattle. And look. This is a tough one. George Kirby on the hill for the Mariners. No joking around there. Schmidt does have a decent K rate, 25.3. You just need other guys to play ball. And Seattle should probably get to about four or five. But it's a matter of how much they're going to put the damage on Schmidt. Look, we saw that last night. If you were tailing last night, you saw Irvin. Like, there's no fucking reason why he was in the game that long, yet here he is, and he's sweating an 0-2 count, and finally he gets Peralta to fly out. You're thinking, okay, okay, we move on here. There's some Ks in this lineup, don't get me wrong, but there's some bats, and it's a matter, it's a ratio of how fast they can get to Schmidt versus Schmidt getting to Seattle seven times over on K's. And look, it's going to be rough. He's not going to give up 2K unless he gets rocked in the first, which I don't necessarily think is going to happen. All right, we move on. Rocky Steve X. Look at this. And as you know from this tool, as I don't need to explain it a couple of times over, but I will, anything over zero is plus EV. Anything at all. So just the fact that this is less than one, but it's greater than zero means it's a plus EV bet. It may not have the margin of Jamal Murray, 4% under 36 and a half at Caesars, where we are today. If you're asking where we're building, don't worry, I'll tell you what's going on there. But that's what we have, an under 10 approach here. And, you know, Colorado's on the road. Their offense is going to just dwindle, especially as bad as they are. And on the other side of it, I don't know how much you're going to get. Look, Arizona's not striking out at all. But they need to manufacture some runs. They need to make sure that they can put some runs up on Lamet. And didn't say Lamet. But look, Tommy Henry is. Mm. Tommy Henry, well, he's not getting the cover torn off. Look, the Rockies are away from of Colorado. So Tommy Henry gets a boost. And this total sits at 10 because Lamont hasn't been stretched out. And we're fading that. We're fading the Colorado Rockies bats. And we're saying that Arizona may not look awful, but they may not put up a bunch of runs either in doing so. Mitch Keller. This one is a little bit of a risk. That's why we have it. Look, we've got this at a 50-50 shot, yet we're getting plus 108 back. That's what that 4EV is part of as far as the derivative of it. So, with all of that said, this is an earlier game. I want to make sure you jump in on this right now. Brian Reynolds, like you got some guys up there at the top. Hayes, you got some guys in this lineup. Santana, it's going to make it tough for the home team and Alex Wood to bank on that 22.4. We're looking at Mitch Keller and saying, yeah, a guy with a 30 to 5 K rate should be closer to 
even money. And we're getting a little bit of a break here. I mean, if you wanted to go crazy, I could add Patrick Corbin in there, but I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it at this. We're plus 525 on Caesars. I already told you, you got a free week below on the tool, okay? A free week below. It's super easy and simple. Let me just tell you real quick before we get out of here, what's going on over at Caesars? Because I don't know why you wouldn't take advantage of this. Serious. 21 or older, gambling problem called 1-800-GAMBLER. You're not on Caesars. I know because I'm doing stuff with another book that's bigger in the sense of just they've been around longer and we get people signing up for that. So I know that you're not on Caesars. Your first bet is back to you if you lose it up to twelve hundred and fifty dollars. OK, so we've already built this here on Caesars. I've I've done the hard work for you. Take the Nats just over plus two oh five. And put the twelve fifty down. All right. Worst case scenario is it doesn't hit. You get your money back. Best case scenario is you got a nice little payday there. Nice little chunk. Just put it on anything you want. Any plus money play is what I would do. Gave you the Nats at 1250. You want to find something else, something better? Go ahead. You know, put that down there. Who cares? Whatever you want. It's your world. It's your world. It's your planet. You'll get it back if it misses. Schmidt under six and a half Ks. Rockies D-backs under 10. Mitch Keller under six and a half Ks at plus 108. That is the parlay of the day. I will see you right here, four o'clock Eastern with Ben Raza as we do a live betting show Monday through Friday. 